What up peeps, I'm Mr. Teacups, and today I thought I would do a tutorial on how to get to round 40 plus solo on the zombie map Town. And Town in itself is a very, very good map if you want to get to a high round. Um, because it's a very open map in my opinion, there's a lot of places you can run to, uh, there's a lot of space to manoeuvre around, and generally if you get into a bad situation, there's so many places that you can just run through that you can get out of a bad situation with ease. It's not like farm. In farm, generally if you make one mistake, you're just fucked, because it's just so small that zombies can come at you from so many different angles that you literally have no time to get your monkey bomb out but in this tutorial I want to talk about I'll firstly talk about the order of which I buy and my perks and buy my weapons and then I'll talk about the actual route itself then I'll talk about maybe the only downsides to the route so let's start off with what I will buy when I spawn into this map I will go for juggernaut straight away juggernaut is what I want so hopefully by the end of round one I'll have enough points to open up the door to juggernaut then by the end of round two I'll purchase juggernaut and if I've got enough money by then if I've maximized my points I'll end up buying the mp5k off the wall so the mp5k is my weapon of choice and I'll tell you why later on once I've got those two I'll then head off to the room where the revive is and I'll open up that door and I'll buy a re quick revive and I'll hopefully have that by the end of round four but my only comment about quick revive is that if you go down probably before round 12 sometimes even if I go down before round 15 I will restart the game because I feel it's a cheap death if you go down by round 12 because what it only takes like 20 minutes to half an hour to get to round 12 while as when you're at round 40 something it takes like half an hour to 40 minutes around so like if you get around 40 something and you ain't got a spare quick revive you're going to really really regret it so I always feel you're better safe than sorry to restart at 12 than if you get really high later on and then you end up dying and you thought ah oh, shit I could have gone for the world record but that's my only comment on quick revive so once I have that I'll then save up get myself speed cola then I'll save up and get myself uh, stamina up stamina up I do prefer over double tap I feel you really don't need double tap at all this map is just so open that I feel you don't really need double tap and once, you, once you've lost all your quick revives you can go and get double tap anyway but they're the perks I will get I'll hopefully have my four perks by the end of round eight I'll end up boxing it and I'll be trying to get the ray gun and monkeys and generally <laughs> and generally sometimes you may get the ray gun on your first go or you might end up getting your ray gun on your hundredth go it, it's down to luck but I'm hoping to have ray gun and monkeys by the end of round 12 but my next purchase will be uh, around about round 25 I'll end up pack a punch in my mp5k I feel by 25 is when the guns start taking a long time to kill so you're going to look into pack a punch in them I want to maximize as many points as I can by using the mp5 and by around about round 30 I want to be looking into pack a punch in my ray gun because once the ray gun starts taking about two bullets to kill someone it can get really boring so you're definitely going to need that pack a punch that's usually the order I buy everything. Hopefully by round 30, I've got all my perks. I've got every pack. I've got all my perks. I've got everything. Pack a punch. I'm ready to just fuck shit up. But the only other things I might buy is earlier on I might buy the Semtex just because I can, and they can get you a load of um, they can get you a load of crawlers earlier on as well. I might look into buying the Knuckle Duster, or I can even remember the name of it. Um, I only buy that for the later rounds when like there's a load of crawlers on the floor and you don't want to waste your precious ammo, so you can just beat them to death. The only comment about that is that. Um, the, the knuckle dusters are located at the bottom of the stairs where the quick revive are and they're quite dangerous to get really because if you're doing it mid round don't do it mid round because there's like a little animation of about three seconds where he will punch his fist and you can't run during those three seconds so uh, you could get caught off guard and get down especially if you've got a huge conga line of zombies behind you waiting to be raped so everyone's usually got their own preferences but that's my method of buying everything so now let's talk about my actual method of basically getting a huge conga line of zombies and um, You've probably already seen it from the background gameplay. I will start off in the juggernaut room and I will wait on that ledge. At the beginning of every round, I will wait on that ledge and I'll basically wait for it to get overcrowded. As like literally I'll try and pull in as many zombies as I can. So the line has already started. But once things start getting a low once things start getting a little bit packed, I'm going to look into jumping down. Usually I'm not gonna be scared jumping down because there, there won't be that many zombies spawn below. Sometimes it's none spawn below, so it's usually not, never that dangerous. But be careful as well, because when you're on this ledge, if you take too many hits and you fall down, uh, you can take full damage and you die and that's actually the thing that fucked me over in this gameplay around 30 something I, I stupidly wasted loads of my uh, revives earlier on in this game because I was just fucking around I wasn't looking forward to getting to a high round that um, I end up taking too many hits I fall off the ledge and I take full damage and I lose my uh, I lose my last revive so I was kind of pissed so be wary of that but then once I've jumped down the ledge, I'll be turning left and I'll be just running. This is probably the most dangerous part because zombies can spawn to the right of you where the little fence is and they can come from the left. Uh, at the beginning of the round, there might be a zombie to the right and he is probably your only threat for the whole literally round of the game. Once you get past him, you're usually suited and booted. 
but um, generally you get past him, you just need some really quick movement. You usually don't have to punch him or you don't have to run away from him. Just get past him, you should just slide to the left and slide to the right, damn, then bang, you're out of there. Then you'll have two options. If there's not a lot of zombies to your left, I will go round the lava to the left, go round, just because I don't have to run through it and take as much damage. But if there's a lot of zombies coming on the left, run across the lava, don't be scared. If you've got Juggernaut and Stamina up, you're definitely going to survive that with ease. Once I've got across either ways, I'm going to wait at the doorway and just basically start shooting the zombies for fun, because they're going to be quite far away. And if you've got a ray gun, you can get a load of crawlers there. Generally, you're in such an open place, you're not going to get caught off guard. But once you've uh, once once the horde is starting to get close, you're going to turn around and want to run up the stairs. I feel there's no point of shooting down at the bottom of the stairs because there is a little door behind you where you could just get picked off by a zombie spawning. And if there's a load of zombies that spawn upstairs, they might come down the stairs and just block your way and you'll get raped. So I like to get to the top floor as quick as I can. And then I'll just wait on the ledge, wait for as many zombies as I can to come upstairs, take a few shots at them, then I'll be looking to jump down. And my only tip is when jumping down, always make sure you look where you're jumping. Because if you jump down into a horde of zombies, even if they're the, even if they're the slow zombies, if there's enough of them, they're just going to down you straight away. So always be wary of where you're jumping. And generally just look for an open space, then you just run straight away when you land. When Just run straight away when you land. That's, that's my only advice there. And if you have to, definitely go to the left and run through the fire. But once I've done that, I'll then just run to the bottom of the uh, juggernaut staircase and I'll just pick zombies off there for fun because it takes them quite a long time to get from the other side of the map so you can get a lot of kills there with ease. The only um, the only disadvantage of using that place is that if you start killing a lot of zombies, some zombies might spawn up where the juggernaut is, like they might come from the roof up there or the two doorways up there and they might start running down the stairs. But usually, sometimes in my experience, they don't all the time spawn there, it's only now and then that might happen and it's very easy to get out of because hopefully by the time they might have already run down the stairs so you can just run past them with ease. But if there's, if there's a lot of them, don't be scared to use your monkey, just walk to the left, throw your monkeys out, you know, you don't want to waste the revive, revives are so freaking precious and if you get max ammo, your monkey is going to be replaced anyway. But once I've got back up to the juggernaut, I will just repeat, just rinse and repeat, simple as that. That is the method I use, people are thinking, oh, that's not the most effective method. Well, it works for me, I feel, generally, I barely get hit sometimes in rounds and uh, I, feel it's the, I feel it's the one method that keeps me from dying of boredom. Uh, there are some methods where you can just run around in circles, like just destroying the zombies. It's the method that really keeps me active, because sometimes I'm really tempted to just AFK while I'm playing zombies. But this method just keeps me thinking and keeps me focused. Like, if you just take your eyes off the screen for one second, you should just get an easy down if a zombie just comes out of anywhere. But that's the method I will take. You, it really does work for me. I feel it's the most safest method. It's probably the easiest method to get a huge conga line of zombies going. But now let's talk about... And the only real disadvantage of this method is that it just takes a long time. Uh, you're going to be running around this map a lot. You're going to be getting to know this pathway just like an absolute boss. Your movements are just going to look pro after a while. But um, the only downside is really that it just takes so long. And once you get into like the rounds, once you get into like the 40s, um, it takes like half an hour to 45 minutes a round. It can get really tedious and really boring because once you get around 40, it takes a whole clip of um, pack a punch MP5 ammo to kill one zombie, and that's the reason why. I purchased MP5K because you can buy upgraded ammo on the wall. So say if you bought a like an assault rifle, even though the assault rifle pack a punch is gonna be more powerful, you're still gonna run out of ammo so quick and you don't wanna be just sitting there with like a ray gun out of ammo and an assault rifle out of ammo. You constantly wanna have ammo, you constantly just wanna keep shooting zombies and just withering down the horde. So that's why I have my MP5K. And really later on the assault rifles don't really make that much of a difference. They may they may be like one or two bullets less on the kills. It's still a lot to kill zombies. You can generally take a really long time but if you if you're unlucky like me um in this gameplay i can go rounds and rounds without even ever seeing a max ammo like in this gameplay here i don't think from round 40 round 40 to 43 i don't think i get a one max ammo i do end up getting nukes i do end up getting nukes and a insta kill like on round 42 i think i get one nuke and one insta kill and that really makes the wave go by a lot quicker but it still took me 40 minutes to do this round so it takes a long time if i hadn't got that nuke or i hadn't got that insta kill you know it would have been well over an hour but that's one of the reasons why i said early on i want to try and maximize as much points as i can because i'm just gonna be spending all my money on pack a punch mp5 ammo that's where just literally all my money will go like you can i i have seen some people like they swap out the ray gun in the box and just try and get the ray gun again and pack a punch it that, that can make the rounds go by a lot quicker if you just got a constant pack a punch ray gun that can make the rounds go by a lot faster but it's a lot dangerous like is it, like it's very dangerous to do that method and you're not always guaranteed to get like a, a ray gun every round you know but now let's talk about the actual drops the drop rate 
in this game for solo for me has been pissed. Like, I'm probably one of the most unluckiest persons ever. I very rarely get a max ammo. I very rarely get a nuke. I very rarely get a uh, insta kill. I always get double points. I always get carbon star. But, you know, once you get to like round 40 something, the second you see a max ammo, you're just going to jizz in your pants. It's going to feel like the second coming of Christ. You're just going to be out of this world of stake. But you've got to be careful. Don't blindly run at it. You want to be making sure you're going to get that without getting a down. So, say if I'm in a juggernaut room and I kill a zombie and it drops one, I'm definitely going to have to jump down. But what I'll do is when I jump down, I'll run around the corner as quick as I can and I'll be getting my monkey out. I'll be throwing my monkey to the right of the stairs so they all come down and they head that way. I'll be then sprinting upstairs to get it. And you're probably thinking, oh, why don't you just do your method, go around the whole map and just come back? It's not, it's not quick enough. I think the drop time... I think the drops only last for the something like 30 seconds. It's a ridiculously small time. So literally my method, I always, I've tried running it a lot. I've tried running around the map and coming back. They've always been gone. I've never once made one. The only times I will make it if I throw a monkey bomb. And that gets me to my next thing, monkey bomb placement. Don't throw a monkey bomb near lava because if it falls in the lava, it, it doesn't work. It's destroyed and you can get fucked over by that. You've got to think about your mon monkey placement. Don't just throw them at random. You've got to definitely think about where you're going to put them. But now I feel like I'm coming to the end of my tutorial. I've talked about the order of which I'll buy everything. I've talked about my actual method. I'm going to show the end here where I, where I actually die at the end of round 43. It's, it's a stupid death. I could have easily avoided this because the second I jump down, the zombie just catches me off guard. And for some reason, I try to run around them like I usually do. But too many of them came from the left. What I should have done was I should have backed off ran behind and threw out a monkey bomb I will survive because I actually did that earlier on in like the early 30s I think it's around 32 I actually did that and it saved my ass because I did get caught like that but I ended up using my brain but this time I didn't use my brain and I just ended up paying the price yep <laughs> I ended up dying I ended up getting 36 of the world at this point I was actually two behind syndicates so that was kind of cool but I honestly thought I could have gone for the world record on this gameplay um it was definitely my fault um like, this is my most recent gameplay like I did get to around 48 at one point but when I died, uh, I, I went to look at the leaderboards, it didn't fucking save. For some reason it just didn't save. It happened for quite a lot of people on one of these certain days. I can't remember, it was a, I can't remember when it was, it was sometime last week. So I was, I was very pissed about that. But this game player itself, I was actually just looking to get to... I was just looking for um, new methods, I was just experimenting really early on. And I ended, up get, I ended up getting a load of cheap downs earlier on. But then once I got to round 30 something, I was, I was like, oh shit, I can go for a high round here. But by round 30, I'd wasted all my um, quick revives. So I was really pissed. I honestly thought I could have got to round 60 something plus here. But once you get to like round 40 something, it's no longer it's no longer a challenge anymore. Like zombies is no longer a challenge solo in the later rounds. Because you're just running the method over and over again. It, it's literally about who has the most persistence. Because... You know, like like an hour round of zombies is boring as fuck. Like, oh my god, it can just get so boring. When you when it's like 40 bullets to kill one zombie, it can just it feel like it feels like forever. In, in, in my opinion, like when I saw the uh, who was number one when I finished off this game, he got to round 61. Like I had 2,500 kills, and it took me it took me quite a few hours to do this. But when he had 5,000 more kills than me, he had like 7,500 and something. I was just like, wow. No, literally, I was just like thinking you know like that must have took probably from about round 43 to about round 61 that had to be easily 15 to 20 hours more gameplay it would just uh, it would take so long to kill those zombies it must have been so boring for him but but yeah i feel i've talked about everything uh, this has been my first tutorial and if you want to see some more zombies gameplay and some more black ops and player gameplay i hope you please check out my channel maybe think about subscribing so i've been mr teacups so please rate comment subscribe and i'll see you next time